You know, I don't, uh, I don't drive a car. I think I'm above it. That's right. I'm putting that on the table now. I pulled a rickshaw. You know what? It's easier to get around with. I can carry more as far as I'm concerned. It's great for my glutes. So, um, cars are a little beyond me, but I guess I'll report Ford's earnings. They've been around for a while now. Like, uh, over a hundred years. They've been making cars for a whole long time. Actually, they made the first car. And the family, the Ford family, they still own it. They're the pride of Detroit. And Detroit has no pride. That place is a landfill. Well, they reported earnings today. EPS came in at 56 cents, beating the street by 13. It's pretty good. Since that bailout, Ford has really turned it around. They're definitely, in my opinion, the predominant American automaker out there. Their revenues, 39.85 billion. They beat that number by 2.75. 2.75 billion. That's a heck of a beat. Ford's really moving some products out there. That's a lot more revenue than a lot of people seen coming in this quarter. Now, their net income, two billion bucks. That's not a bad net income for a quarter. Now, their operating margins in North America, it's about 9%. That's not bad. 4% in Asia, but it's going down. It's in the negatives, actually, in the Middle East, Africa, and South America. Ford's got some work to do there. As far as a global brand, they just haven't been able to make the inroads that they want. They've been trying for a really long time. And that's not to say that other automakers are doing that great either, especially the American ones. GM's encountering the exact same trouble trying to penetrate new markets where there have been other automakers in there for years and years and years. I think Ford's actually probably doing a better job overall internationally. Ford says one of the big things they see going forward that's going to be a problem is the steel prices. If the steel prices in North America go up because of these tariffs that Donald Trump's proposing, if you're bringing in steel from out of the country, it's going to cost Ford a lot more money to make automobiles. Now we're going to see what happens on those tariffs first off, but Ford's just given us the doom and gloom, just in case. Since the bailout, I think Ford's doing a heck of a job. That Ford family, just about anything they touch, seems to do just fine. But it goes to show that no matter how good you are, you can turn around the biggest and oldest American automaker ever from the fringes of bankruptcy, but nobody, not even the Ford family, can fix the Detroit Lions.